was actually pretty deep. Came up past the hood. Good thing we are in a Land Rover and it is not affected by water in any way, shape, or form. 10 out of 10. Such a cushy off-road machine. It really is absolutely amazing. rocks it would have been way worse in the Bronco though good thing this What's going on everybody my name is mechanic dave we're out here with the land rover out in the pits and uh today today's episode is going to be a little bit different not really car related if i'm honest whoops today uh, we are playing with guns that's right um, I don't own a ton of firearms since I recently turned 21, but I do have a 12 gauge shotgun and I just bought a nine millimeter yesterday. Now I will show you all those in a second, but first you have to understand, uh, there's a wooden target. Ah, come on, angle there, right there. And, uh, hopefully by the time I'm done today. There won't be a ton left of it. Uh, I didn't actually bring a ton of ammo with me. I only brought a little bit just because that shit's really expensive. But I did bring ammo and I did bring my uh, two guns. So let me show you these things. Okay, so here's my 12 gauge. It is a Hatfield SGL single shot barrel break. It's a three inch chamber. Oh. where the safety is on um i have a little bit of a combination don't want to scratch the hood this is the old man's vehicle after all i brought a combination of bird shot 28 grain and double lot buck Nine pellets, two and three quarter shell. Whoops. Let's see. I brought six of those. And we have this uh, nine mil Luger, aluminum casing. That will be being fired out of this beautiful new gun. Taurus G2C, chambered in nine millimeter. They have the G2S, which is chambered in 40 but I didn't get that because this one was cheaper. It's a 12 round magazine. I actually have two magazines and it's currently unloaded. I have yet to shoot this gun and I'm, I really want to. But I've shot the shotgun before and it, it kind of hurts. I mean, it's a fucking a walnut stock with a plastic butt. So yeah, it's going to hurt your shoulder, but I haven't shot this gun yet. So I'm pretty curious to see how, see how I like it. Things first, though, you always want to remember your safety. Now, you're supposed to be wearing glasses, but I'm already blind, so I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about it. I'm not deaf, though, so we got the big earmuffs on there. Uh, let's see. Anything else needs safety? Oh, yeah, don't shoot people. That's that's considered bad. Um, let's see, what else? Don't shoot yourself. That's bad. I think I covered everything. So... Loaded up the Taurus. Put that now. Get my earmuffs on. Good. All right. Safety off. I'm flipping it like that so I can avoid doing that and aiming it at my face. 
Safety is off. First round chambered. That was nice, I like that. I like that gun, that's, that's nice. That was all 12. <laughs> See my aim fucking sucks from all the way up there because I hit one, two, and that's it. Oh, three, four, okay, five, six, I think that's a bullet hole, looks like one, seven. Did I shoot that? Eight. All right, so eight out of 12 shots hit the actual thing. They probably all went in there, but not my problem. All right, so now let's play with a shotgun. Let's see, it's got the, uh, the bird shot in it, the bismuth. Safety off. All right. I saw it move. I think I hit it. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't eject the shell when you do it. You kind of got to pull it out yourself. Oh, that was a cool shot. All right. Let's go see how we did. Hit the target this time. I got there, there, some up here, but mostly down here. Oh, some over here. Yeah. Little tiny steel pellets, which will still fuck you up, but that's that's game shot. Those are meant for birds. Let's go and try a buckshot. I actually have yet to shoot buckshot out of this uh, shotgun, and I almost bought slugs last night, but I was running out of time in the gun store, and I just I decided to just buy the the nine mil. So we're gonna load it up with uh, buckshot right now and see right. how it kicks. Buckshot. All right, let's see how she does. Woo. That one hurt a little bit more. <laughs> Can only imagine how a slug's gonna feel. All right, I see slightly larger holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, eight of them hit. That's a uh, success. You can definitely see the difference there's your buck, uh, there's your bird, and then there's your nine. Cool, all right. How's the back of this bitch doing? Ah, oh, she's mint. Only blowing off, uh, only blowing off small pieces. We're good. Now for the boring part, reloading. Try and get this on a time lapse for you. Alrighty, all the guns are loaded up. I actually loaded up both magazines for the Taurus this time. So we got that one, and oh shit, I fucked it up. So we got that one, and then that one, so that's 24. And then uh, birdshot and the 12 gauge. I'm almost, just shit, I'm already almost out of ammo. Almost out of this stuff ain't cheap, you know. It's, the box of shotgun shells was like $25. And then the box of 9mm, which had 50 rounds in it, ha was like, uh, I want to say like 23 23 bucks for 50 So ammo is not cheap anymore. But you do what you do. You survive. That's nice. We're good. All right. More nine mil. Let's see if we can't actually get closer. Put the safety back on. Gangster, yeah. Gangster, motherfucker. <laughs> I 
It's too early for Christmas. Fuck you, Mariah Carey. <sighs> Fuck, that smells so good. It is a shame they left their Christmas trees out. All right. So if any of you idiots are keeping track, that was all six shells for the 12 gauge. So we're done shooting that. <sighs> now, uh, yeah, let's reload them. There. Or, yeah, 12 rounds in there. <laughs> Two rounds in here. I am all out of nine mil. We shot 50 rounds today. Wow. It did not feel like that. Time flies when you're having fun. So one thing I noticed about the Taurus, put the safety on, is when it has a load chambered, the little thing pops up, and there's a little red thing on there which tells you your gun is hot. And it works! That's crazy! Oh, take the earmuffs off. And my hat. Oh, Jesus Christ. All righty, so... Really successful day. My shoulder hurts a little bit from this bitch, but my hand does not feel a thing from that. I really like this gun. Uh, the G2C, this one only cost me $260, which for the money, it's, it's not a bad gun. It's lightweight, holds my hand good. Don't worry about my fingernails. I'm a fucking mechanic. Uh, yeah, I didn't have any issues with it today. Uh, it's easy to take apart. There's only 70 pieces in this entire gun. Crazy. I'll have to take it apart sometime. And then it'll never work again. And then I'll have to go and buy three more pistols. But, you know, that's, that's just how things work. Currently, out of ammo. Out of ammo. Don't worry, I'll, be, I'll fucking pick it up. Jesus. Ah. Uh, uh, this one is brand new. This one is brand used. This is a very much used gun. Um, I paid... Oh, I won't slide. I won't scratch the hood. I paid $100 for this shotgun. This shotgun is equivalent to one Dodge Neon. That's crazy. Now, this, a lot of people will call this the Walmart special. I originally found this gun at Walmart, but they didn't have anyone there to sell it to me. Or open the cabinet, so I found it again down the road for the exact same price. You know, single shot. It it's nice because once you're done with it, it gives your uh, shoulder a second to breathe or recover for a second before you absolutely annihilate it again. A lot of times, what people do actually is they'll deepen that groove and cut that off, and then it folds almost completely flat. You know, it's a really good uh, oh, backpack gun for the because of how small it gets, you know? Fold it up, but the barrel will stick out of your bag. Oh, there was still a shell in there. There we go, better. So, oh, hands camera covering the camera. I'm a retard. So, for around. 300 and something bucks. You can have a shotgun and nine mil, not including the ammo. That's about, we I, we blew through about $40 worth of ammunition in however long this video is. Um, But yeah, no, I'm really, really happy. And that target down there that I built, standing up pretty good. You know, we put rocks around the base of it. I braced it as much as I could. And it's not completely blown apart. Actually, let's go take a look at it. All right. Buckshot, buckshot nine. The back of it's not even completely exploded. It'd be cool if we could catch some fucking bullets. You know, load some sandbags in here. Maybe put a piece of wood at the bottom like that. Just drop sandbags in there. That'd be pretty cool. I think I'd like to do that. But for now, I think we're going to call it a day. What do you think, Land Rover? Yeah, that's my thought.
Well, thank you guys for watching. I know it wasn't your usual Mechanic Dave video, but I still wanted to show you guys another way to have fun if you don't have a car. Well, you kind of need a car to get the fuck out here, as you saw in the beginning. Uh, remember, always be safe with a gun, not toys, the tools. Um, and the most important thing you can do is just have fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next round where maybe we shoot the Bronco. You didn't hear it from me.